Hey guys, welcome back to RC Legends. And um, once again, thank you for stopping by. So it's a special one. It's the 10th technology X10 Predator or Predator X10. If you don't know, my good friend Keith over at RC Icon sent me this off the chart. Um, <laughs> and the reason he did that, I won't start making it a nice about RC Icons, but I did a top five video of cars I want at some point in my collection in the future. And, and out of those five, Keith has now supplied two of them, which is the X10, and if you can see it behind me, the um, RCL Incident, new in box. Can't bring myself to cut that open to build it yet. And and I got myself a Marui Shogun. So there's another two out there, but um, I won't even say what they are, don't worry. Um, just over the moon to have this, and to have it and, and to have it in a, like an original X10, which, was be, which has been raced, is just incredible. So, so lucky. So yeah, as, as I said, as promised, we're gonna have a closer look at this car. Um, if you've not seen the X10 before, you're in for a treat. Look at that thing. There's nothing like this car in the looks department. Getting excited, knocking the camera. There really isn't. It's, um, it's such a unique car. I've taken the shock spacers out of it, obviously. You know I like them low. I mean, it's, it's low enough, isn't it, this thing? Yeah. So, yeah, I think the only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the two, if my number two's off, it hasn't got one on the other side. Because this paint job's pretty awesome, and it's, you know, it's all original, which is a big thing. The, the wing, it's an original wing, but it's being cut differently on the wing sides, slightly. Um, but, yeah, that doesn't bother me. And just from a higher angle... This particular car doesn't have a, a bad angle at all. So unique, isn't it? Very, very special car. First car I'd ever seen with a front wing on. I remember the first time I saw one, I was like, what the hell is this thing? So cool. The, the overall drive is super free. People say oh, race days, it's an incredibly quick car. It's uh, it's pretty light as well. Obviously, it's a roller at the moment, but um, let's just bring it down a little bit. But um, yeah, I don't think it's heavy at all. Then moving on to the chassis. So I believe this is reinforced carbon chassis tub. I believe that's what the X10 came with. And you've got this beautiful alloy motor mount um, spur gear. And then I believe, again, that's a graphite um, prop shaft. I could be wrong with all this. These um, battery straps are not correct, but um, someone did contact me on Instagram and said they've got an original set that they'll sell me, so I probably will change these over. Um, I think I think they're probably carbon, um, and obviously this chassis was designed for the 7.2 um, saddle pack. Obviously your motor here, and then your steering servo is right back here, and with you obviously your batteries, and then on this, this long arm. For your steering um, and I do believe I've seen X10s which have had a little bit of a conversion things moved around so they've put a, a shorty pack 2S battery here obviously the motor doesn't change battery and then where the battery would have gone you got your speedo and your servo that might be something I'll look at doing because I would uh, I would absolutely love to run this thing Let's see if we can get close up on the front so unique. Look, hang on, let me turn it upside down. Look at those arms. The shape of them. Apparently it was it was it was fast as hell, but it was fragile, so I've been told. But um yeah, let me just stand that up so you can see because the underneath of it very different. Yeah. Very cool, isn't it? How it all kind of goes together. And you got these turnbuckles on the rear for your um, towing adjustment I've just noticed that now yeah that's cool and then on the front as I say you know I've seen the steering and then your front suspension on that rocker pivot and there in alloy I believe that was standard as well again as I say it overall super free and then that back end 
that suspension absolutely cool i don't know if you've noticed double spring on the rear there's a name for this type of suspension and i don't know what it is don't know the idea behind it but um, yeah incredibly cool got that carbon plate on the back and you swear bar this funky swear bar here just look try to look in here see if it's got uj's i'm pretty sure that's got uj's in the rear I think, don't quote me, I might be wrong. What's the front? See if we can get in there. Yeah, that's, oh sorry, that's definitely UJ's in the front. And that, yeah, that's exactly the same as the rear, so it's got UJ's all around. Look at that hub arrangement. Oh, a little bit of carbon on the front as well. Wowza. I think it looks like you got on that top arm. Sorry, I keep missing camera, Glenneth. And on his top arm, you got looks like it, that's adjustable, I'm guessing, for your um, front camber. Same on the rear. So, yeah, I mean, this car was just made for the racetrack and nothing else. I don't think people toddled around on the streets with this thing. God, can you imagine back in the day? I mean, I say back in the day, I know it's not sort of 80s, but can you imagine having this thing on a racetrack? I mean, it was just a complete one-off, wasn't it? I know there, there was models before the, what was it, the XK98 was the first one, I believe. X10 and then I think the other manufacturer, I don't know too much about it, did the X11. So in theory, the X11 would be a better car. Whether that's true or not, I've no idea. But um, I know for a fact in this video, the comment section will be interesting with uh, you guys and girls who... Um, actually have one and race one yeah I've got to run this thing I've got to get this up and running somehow whether it's on the old style batteries because I do have a saddle pack or we'll convert it a little bit but um, it is mainly for the collection obviously but um, yeah I've got to get this running I bet there was a few of you earlier when I just said oh, I'm gonna take those racing numbers off so leave them on oops sorry too late I, I just think I like that I, I like to see the windows um, that's just me I think I will at some point in the future do my own body set for this I think I don't know I really like this one because it's kind of original and you know it's a little bit of a time capsule as it were but uh, yeah I mean I believe well I know for a fact because I've had one TBG do the full body set I'm pretty certain you can get the front wing from them but I don't think it's the correct shape with this channel I think it's flat um, again, could be wrong, but it's really important for me to have that correct wing. And I know MCI do the X10 decals as well. So, yeah, maybe in the future we'll um, we'll do something. We'll do a second body set for it. Yeah, very, very cool thing. I'm nerding over it behind the camera, my friends. Again, stick in the comments what you think. You got any information on this car? What you thought to it if you drove it? <laughs> It would be so bloody cool for me to get this one running. Just for one run. Just one run. It would be absolutely off the chart just to toddle it around on tarmac. Someone said, when I think I posted it on my Facebook group, someone said, get this thing on carpet and it'll be indoor carpet. He said, it'll be absolutely off the chart with the correct tyres on and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I dare do that, especially with jumps, because... Uh, if you break an arm or whatever the, the weak point, points are on this car, it's going to be bloody expensive to get spares for it. So it's an absolute peach. Absolutely ecstatic to have this in my collection. Um, I think it's the third one I've ever had. Um, obviously sold the last two. Um, I didn't know how sought after they were going to become. And I don't quite know why they are so sought after and they go for silly, silly big money. I don't know why that is, because I can't think of any other car. Everything's gone up, I get that. But this particular car, I don't know, it's, it's, it's gone crazy. And I'm really not too sure. Stick in the comments if you would actually know why that is. Just to sort of put some meat in what I've just said. Stuff like the Tommy Intruder. You know, that's a, that's a super rare car as well, full rare spec, just like this. They've gone up, you know, and they've gone up very expensive. But this has doubled what that's worth. I don't know. It's it's strange to me. Is it just 
like a a supply and demand thing where these are just so there's not that many of them about so when one comes up someone grabs it it's kind of got to be something like that hasn't it so yeah as i said earlier probably will put my own body set on it at some point but certainly no rush but the there is a bit of a rush to see if i can get this powered up and my ba my saddle pack 7.2 volt saddle pack battery is working pretty sure they do work and they'll hold the charge i only want to put one battery through it just on tarmac and just run an x10 it's like a big tick on the bucket list um and then retire to the shelf and at some point in the long term future we'll do i'll come up with some design that i want and do my own body set for it but i'm more than happy to have to have it as it is now because it's kind of all original and it's just so so cool so yeah as, as i said earlier stick in the comments what you think to the x10 is it um is it a car you've had is it a car you've driven is it a car you've raced that'd be cool everyone keeps saying people who've raced they don't say much about it the two things that come up it was ultra quick and it was ultra flat fragile so yeah i don't know what the bits if it was the arms or the hubs or what broke but um it's a shame, isn't it? But um, what a thing. So anyway, I'll end this video here before I nerd out. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching. It's massively appreciated. Um, if you haven't checked out Keith's channel, RC Icons, please do. He's knocking out some right content at the moment. And um, God, he's got some rare cars. And as always, my friends, happy RCing.